a lot of times when someone goes to licensing, it's because they can't raise the capital to do the capital intensity of doing the fleet. I don't think that's going to be Tesla's challenge. So they don't really need to do it. So you might as well develop your own business model before you, you go that route. What, what do you think? I think at some point they will license it. I could see a scenario where 10%, 15%, even 20% of the global market for autonomy's licensing is running on Tesla. If they do start to achieve double digit market share from licensing, how does Wall Street react? It would be huge because there are those that believe in the multi-trillion dollar markets of Optimus and just mop up all the share you're going to have. So I get it. So maybe for those people, it's going to be negative. But for a broader investor base, you're like, holy cow, we just de-risked trusting that Elon can ramp volume and fund all this by basically saying, now we're just gonna get this free cash flow stream, which we can put a massive multiple on with an OEM that's gonna be willing to take it, bring in a third party. Look, the offshoot here is if they did something like that, presumably this fragments the market, right? If there's another source of full self-driving cars that someone else is gonna own, that's gonna be good for Uber and Lyft because someone else potentially is gonna have a fleet in there. And then if you have a fragmented fleet, they're more likely to plug into these platforms. So I think Wall Street would would like it for Tesla, would like it for Uber. Maybe some of the Super Bowls of Tesla won't like it because it does kind of open that door up and kind of give Uber and Lyft some incremental light. What if in the terms of service of the licensing agreement, it, those vehicles, if they were ever to be put on a network and only be put on the Tesla network? What impact would that have? I mean, it's, that's just negotiating. And I guess, I guess if they're in a strong enough position, it's possible that that could occur then that would obviously be bad for for Uber and Lyft, right? That just makes the Tesla network that much more powerful because what Tesla can do, even without licensing, if they, when they build this network, Uber's biggest Achilles heel, and there's multiple reports on this, is the inconsistency of the product. We all experience it every day. Tesla would get rid of that inconsistency of the product issue, and that would be changing.